Good morning. Bonjour. Sam Bonani. Dumela. Karo. Mama Chiri. Mama Ngore. I'm Professor Eono Bono. I'm going to talk to you, introduce to you to inheritance in C sharp. How do you inherit names either in life or in C sharp? Now, this presentation was prepared by two of my students. Four of them, that was Fezile, Mandisa, Sanele, and Sizwe. I start with the concept of inheritance in life. Inheritance means the transmission of possessions from one generation, the parent generation, to another generation, which is the children generation. For example, in South Africa now, we are in the Heritage Month, whose purpose is to ensure that culture is transmitted, it is inherited from one generation to another generation. But for us, we look at that inheritance in the context of programming. Another example is the example of names. You, rec you receive a name from your parent, you take that name and your children will also have the same name. In other words, you inherited the name from your parents. Like on this tree, we can see that the parent is Ulu and he gives his names to the children, two of them, Ulu and Ulu. Now, this doesn't come without problems. For example, here. Suppose a person comes to the yard and asks to see Tolu. Who are we going to refer to? Are we going to say he's looking for the father? Or are we going to say he's looking at for one child or for the other child? Now, here in programming today, we'll see that there are four cases of inheritance of names by the children the simple case the virtual case the abstract case and the case where you inherit either your fields or your accesses we we'll take examples today on how to deal with each of those cases but remember our learning approach, which is by example. That's why we're going to give you an example and we will show how to code those cases in the example. We have to be active learners. It means you, as a student, you have to twist what I'm talking about. You have to try it to see if it's working. Sometimes it doesn't work, then you have to work with your peers that's why we say it. it's about peer learning we are in a community of learning finally learning is constructed what does that mean i'm talking i'm trying to transmit what i know but at the end of the day you as a learner you have to take ownership of that and construct your own learning the way you understand it. When you don't understand it fully, then you are free to ask questions.